is about finding area and perimeter with algebra tiles. So when we are talking about finding the area with algebra tiles, we're referring to the names of the tiles. And when we're talking about perimeter with algebra tiles, we're talking about all of the outside side links added together. So we'll do some examples. But first, we're going to do a quick tile review. Since we're talking about area with our tile names, I'm going to just start by doing the area of our basic tiles. So this is a unit tile. The area is 1. This is our x tile. The area is x. And this is our x squared tile. The area is x squared. And we get that because each of these side lengths is 1 for this unit tile. And to find the area would be base times height. And our base is 1, our height is 1. So our area is 1. And when we're talking about perimeter, we are adding those sides up. So this is 4. Then if we talk about our x tile, we have that same length on this side on the top and bottom, which is 1, and then our other sides are unknown, so we call them x. So our area is 1 times x, which is x, and our perimeter is really x plus x plus 1 plus 1, which is combining our two x's, so we have two of those, 2x, and combining our 1's, plus 2. Then we can go over here and look at our x squared tile. These heights are the same, so these are x as well. All of these, it's a perfect square. And since we have x as the base and x as the height, we have x times x, which is x squared. When we're talking about perimeter, we are adding up those four x's. Sorry, x plus x plus x plus x, and we get 4x. So those are just the basic tiles. You might want to come back and refer to those as you work on some of the more difficult shapes. All right, so then we can start looking at our combined tiles to find area and perimeter. Now, we know that our unit tiles are actually just one on each side. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 as our perimeter, 8 units around the outside. And since we have three ones tiles, our area is 3. Now if we look at this second shape, we again know that we have side lengths of 1, and then these long side lengths on the x tile are x. So I can count up my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 1s and 2 x's. So we have x plus x plus 6 for our perimeter or outside pieces, which simplifies. We can combine those like terms and get 2x plus and again, for the area, it's just the tiles that we have, and our tiles are 1, 1, and x. So we have 1x tile, and we have 2 1s tiles. So our area is x plus 2. Looking at our third and final shape, we can look at area first this time. Looking at how many of each tile we have, we have 2x tiles. So we call that 2x. And we have one unit tile, so 2x plus 1. Then we can go ahead and label our side lengths for perimeter. This is x, 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 and x. And these ones are 1s. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 x's. And 1, 2, 3, 4 1s. So our perimeter is 4x plus 4. And these are our more difficult 
shapes. So we will talk about these. We want to be really certain when we get these really combined shapes and we get corners on our shapes like these to make sure that we're actually counting every piece of our shape. So looking at this first one, we'll start with area. What tiles do we have? We have one X squared tile. If you would like, you can put the one in front of it. It means the same thing as just writing x squared, so it's up to you. We also have one x tile. And we have one unit tile. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start labeling my sides, and I'm going to use a different color this time for my perimeter. That's an x. Our x squared tiles have side lengths of x. The long side of our x tile is also an x. The short side is a 1, that's a 1, another 1, and another 1. Again, we are only looking at the outside, so we're only looking at these. And that doesn't look very nice, but you're getting the idea. It's the fence around our yard. We don't want to count the lines that go through it. So, we have x plus x plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus x for that one and then plus 1 plus x. So we can go through and we can count up how many x's we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 x plus 1, 2, 3, 4. 4x plus 4 is the perimeter of that shape. Okay, then looking at our second shape again, we'll start with area. We can count up how many tiles. Well, we have 1x squared tile. Again, you can put the 1 there if that helps. We have 1, 2x tiles. And we have two unit tiles. So 1x squared plus 2x plus 2. And then we're going to start labeling our sides around the outside. So we have 1, 1, 1. That's x, 1, x, 1, x, 1, 1, 1. And don't forget that x there. So, I can go ahead and count up the number of x's I have. I have four x's again. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight units. So our perimeter is four x plus eight. All right, then we're looking at our third and final shape. And this one is probably the most difficult because we actually have a piece that's covering up part of that X tile. And if we are looking at that piece, we can tell that what is missing of this X tile is just this part right here, which is a side length of one. So we are going to have to account for that one that is our missing piece. So I'm just going to start by doing the area, and I'm counting up the tiles that I have. I have one x tile, so I'm going to write that as one x, and I have one unit tile, so I'm going to write that as one. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start labeling my side lengths. I have one here, I have x here, one, 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 and this side piece right here is one and this piece is the one that we have to be careful about since this is not the full X and we're missing one we can write that as X minus one then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add up all my side lengths I have X plus one 
plus this x minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 so plus 4 1's in a row so I'm just going to simplify it and write it like that then I can start combining I have 1 2 x's and I have 4 and I have another 1 so that's 5 but I also have this minus 1 so I can actually just combine those here and make that a 4. So I have 2x minus 4 as my final answer for perimeter.